Hi there, this is a review for the ARC 1880iX 16 port RAID card. Um, I just want to quickly run through the specifications of my system to show you that I'm not running a supercomputer um, to get these kind of read and write speeds. I've got a basic uh, Intel i7 950 socket 1366 uh, built last year with an Asus P6T uh, deluxe motherboard which will be familiar to a lot of you. Now, because of the power requirements, I'm running a Seasonic X850 PSU. I'm going to perform a review on that in the near future. I've also got uh, a NVIDIA GTX 285 graphics card, which I use for its CUDA potential for things like Premiere Pro. I've got one 60 gigabyte OCZ uh, SSD running my OS drive. And most importantly, I have seven times one terabyte Samsung F3 um, drives connected up to my uh, RAID card. So let's have a quick look at the board layout. Now the most important component of a RAID card is obviously uh, where we're going to connect the SATA drives. Here we can see uh, four times the 8087 connectors. Now these 8087 connectors they connect into the RAID card where we can see now each one of these four can then branch out into four different different SATA connectors uh, which can transfer data up to six gigabytes per second. So you could have in total 16 uh, regular mechanical drives or up to 16 different uh, SATA drives. Now the card comes with one 240 pin DIMM socket for DDR2800 ECC registered SD modules. Um, now I've upgraded mine from 1 gigabyte to 4 gigabyte. The 800 megahertz radon chip rock processor, the external Ethernet connection, and finally the external SAS ports. So here are the 8087 ports. I fitted the card into a PCI 8x Express slot, the external SAS connections. Now here's a card jammed into my uh, very small case. Please don't judge me too harshly. And now for the benchmarks, which everybody is really interested in, we can see the read speeds here, the sequential read speeds of over 1.8 gigs uh, per second, and the write speeds of uh, almost a gig. The ATTO disk read write speeds at the beginning of this video, I mentioned that I'm a novice to using RAID cards, but I just wanted to demonstrate how even for a novice, it's easy to set up a, a basic array. Um, when you insert the card and you switch on your computer, you get a menu, you, the one that's coming up on the screen now. Now, once you're in the main menu, you just go to the RAID set function, and then from there, you can very easily uh, create a RAID, expand a RAID, um, many, many different functions. And if you've ever used a BIOS before, it's almost second nature. Um, I hope this review of this card has been useful. And if there's any more benchmarks or anything else you'd like me to do with this card, uh, please leave a comment and I'll try and get back with you. Okay, thank you.